Over the next couple weeks, major retailers like Target will be shutting down some of their stores after shoplifters made their business unsafe and threatened their bottom line. Now, a new six investigation has found out Central Florida is experiencing its own problem with retail theft. And researchers right here are hoping to find the solution. New six investigator Eric Sandoval shows us what they're doing. Eric, this can't be an easy problem to fix. It is definitely not an easy problem, and that is why loss prevention has become a high dollar business in and of itself. You know, there's one group that's trying to stay a step ahead of thieves, though, and they took us behind the scenes to see how they're doing it. And we're in a department store. This is Reed Hayes Playground. How does this work? So it works different ways. It's a prototype store at the Loss Prevention Research Council at the University of Florida. And this is where Hayes and his retail clients test out the latest technology to thwart shoplifters. For example, there's no key in this case. To access it, you have to enter your cell phone number and get a code back, right? And it can't be a burner phone. It somehow knows what the network. So really? you enter it in, you get the code. Now it will open. Some of the tech needs your face to give you access. Now see the face boxing around our faces. Yeah. So we've worked with the technology guys that they can implement that to make it a more credible solution. And sometimes Hayes says you need to think like a bad guy. So it's called a, a magic bag. It's what some boosters or shoplifters use to carry out goods, but what they'll do is try and defeat um, electronic tag systems by lining this with foil. They'll spend a lot of time developing magic bags and different types of magnet systems and trying to defeat these things. Now, some of these systems will detect this coming into the store or a magnet. Hayes and his researchers work with big name retailers from all across the country to stop these thieves. They're trying to get in and get out without incident uh, because they are literally trying to steal tens of thousands of dollars worth of product per day. New Six investigated and we found out Florida ranks third in the nation for stealing from stores. And it costs retailers here four and a half billion dollars a year. In Orange County, one of the busiest tourist shopping areas, prosecutors there have seen a 44% jump in the number of retail theft cases over the last three years. And they've seen more cases so far this year than all of last year. So here we are in a self-checkout in one of the Walmarts that we work in. Hayes says using tools like this virtual reality room helps retailers learn what to change to make sure thieves know they're being watched. What does the behavior look like? How do we help the associate see how she's looking this way? Because uh, one thing we learned was how to turn her workstation and things so she's oriented to help here. The end game is to protect people, places, and property uh, with people first. And get this, Reed uh, Hayes says that he is working on new technology right now that would allow nearby stores to actually communicate with each other. So if one of them has a shoplifter, they could relay that, al that alert to neighboring stores with a description of the suspects, and then everybody could be on the lookout for these guys. That technology is being tested in the Gainesville area where they're located. We're going to check back to see what kind of results they get, probably at the uh, beginning of next year. It feels year. like these billions of dollars are just being passed to us, the people who aren't well, stealing. Well, they are. So, Don't worry. All right. My question is, what's the one item that they say is the most common for the shoplifters? You know, we, to go we asked that during our take six earlier today. Dove soap. What? what? They said that is the number one item that stores say that they are losing to thieves. Dove soap. They say, you know, it may be a sign of the times that we're living in, but they also say Dove soap in particular, for some reason, is actually being resold online. So oh. if people go in and steal it, then they resell it on a third-party site, and they make a whole bunch of money. So out it's of it. not people grabbing it to bathe with. Yeah, it could be some, a little bit of both. Some, okay. Yeah. All right. Very Great fascinating story, Eric. Thank, Thank you. you.